Welcome back to the channel. Uh, one of the things I mentioned in my introductory video, uh, if you haven't seen that, uh, go back and watch it. But uh, this bus has an Allison 3000 PTS transmission in it, which uh, means you, uh, it has a sixth gear double overdrive, which is by default not enabled on a school bus. So you can tell it's a 3000 series transmission, uh, one by the uh, digital keypad up here, but two, there's a sticker up here on the bus that gives the details of it. And when we crawl underneath the bus, I'll show you the tag on the transmission itself. So if I turn the key on here, you'll see that it lights up N for neutral. And if I shift into drive, you'll see a number five flash up here. And we get that flashing because the engine's not running and it's uh, not actually in gear. But that five indicates that the uh, transmission is set for five speed. Um, and that's the most we can do. However, this transmission is six speed capable. And to do that, we need what's known as a TCM reflash. So what we're going to do now is crawl underneath the bus and grab some information and a photo off the plate off the transmission. And we are going to send that to an online uh, a person who does the reflashes. So we'll send them that information. We'll actually disconnect the TCM. TCM stands for Transmission Control Module. And we'll actually send them that physical module along with all the information about this bus. He'll reprogram it to enable six gear. We'll reinstall it and we'll have a six gear transmission. So I'm going to put you on pause for just a minute while we curl underneath the bus. Okay, we're going to try to record this. Uh and work one-handed, but I'm underneath the bus. This is the passenger side, and this is the transmission. For reference, we are just behind the um, the front wheel, actually right underneath the uh, stairwell coming into the bus. And on the side of the transmission, we have this little plate here, which gives all the information about the transmission. Now this bus is actually pretty clean. Um, some of the other buses in our fleet that are not quite so clean, this plate is pretty much unreadable. Uh, so what we do is we just hit that with a little bit of brake clean and a uh, shop rag and clean off any of the dirt and grime. And now we can clearly read the label on that and that's the information we need. Okay, and on the other side of the transmission, now on the driver's side, this little box up there is where our TCM or transmission control module is. It's in a little protective uh, box there. And you can see, if I get my camera up here, all of the wiring in the back of it. So we just have to unhook that, disconnect those wires, and that's what we need. Now, in terms of having these things reprogrammed, um, there, there's a couple ways of going about it. First, you can try to get an Allison dealer to reprogram them. And Allison will reprogram them as long as they have a letter from the OEM of the bus. Um, so International in my case, or Bluebird, or Thomas in your case maybe. Uh, as long as Allison has a letter from that OEM authorizing them to reprogram, they will do it. The trouble is getting that authorization is uh, a giant pain, to put it mildly. Um, from what I've heard, Bluebird won't do them at all. Thomas is kind of hit and miss and international. Um, as long as you jump through enough hoops and wait several months, they will do it. Your other option is to uh, either go through an online um, dealer or broker or, or programmer like I will, they will, you can either buy a new TCM that they will ship to you pre-programmed, or you can, some of them will allow you to send off your existing one. They will reprogram it and send it back to you. Uh, the downside, uh, I mean, if you go through having Allison do it, you know, with an OEM letter, you know, you're, you're, you know, covered by, you know, an Allison warranty. It's all official. Everything's done right. You probably will take your bus to a shop to have it done. Um, and it's a lot less risky. Having it, having a an existing one reprogrammed. Um, I mean, if you just buy a new TCM module and have it shipped to you and install it, that's uh, a little bit less risky. You install it if it doesn't work right, put your old one back in. 
um, but you're going to be paying for a new TCM module, which uh, may be kind of pricey. Uh, and then obviously the route I'm going is shipping my existing TCM off and having it reprogrammed. The benefit to that is it's the least costly. I think it's going to be about $300 or $400 to have me do it, plus my time to remove this module and, and reinstall it. But the risk is if it comes back with an incorrect configuration file or doesn't work or gets damaged or lost in shipping, the whole time that's going on, this bus is unmovable uh, because the transmission literally, you know, if there's no computer, it won't shift into gear. So uh, that's your options when it comes to reprogramming the TCM on these. And again, this only works on the 3000 series Allison's, but if you've got the 3000 series transmission like I do, um, it's pretty easy to do and pretty common to do. And like I mentioned in my intro video, the benefit to getting that six gear is you can run at freeway speeds of, you know, 60 to 70 mile an hour at a lower RPM, which gains you a little bit of fuel economy. So that's what we're doing here. So I'm going to put down the camera. We're going to go and disconnect that TCM and get it ready to mail off. Okay, quick video as I'm sitting here at home editing. Uh, I've lost the clip um, after I got that TCM down and off there. Um, but after I got down, I took some more brake clean and cleaned the label off the TCM itself. So the information on it was readable, uh, including the CIN number, which is uh, important for the reprogramming. And uh, we got that uh, packaged up uh, and mailed to the programmer. Um, today is uh, Saturday um, and UPS tracking, he got it yesterday um, and said he's gonna program it uh, today and uh, ship it back to me tomorrow. So hopefully we have that back in the next few days and can get it reinstalled. I'll make another video when that happens, but uh, that's kind of the uh, where we're at with that one, but I'll close this video out and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.